All right, friends. So now that we have explored some different line designs or some different patterns using our lines, we're now going to put them into a picture. So I'm going to get myself a Sharpie. You should have a pencil and a ruler. You'll need that and a few to draw a few of your lines, but most of our lines are going to be curved. So we're going to draw a pineapple. And so I want to show you how to draw that. So you're gonna start, first of all, you want your pineapple to take up your page. You do not want it to be small in the middle. You want it to be big, so you're going to open your hand out and make sure that your make sure that your pineapple is large enough to fit your paper. So I'm now going to draw two curved lines, just like this, as the outside of my pineapple. Now I could probably make it go in just a little bit more at the top. Okay. Now I want to round the bottom so it looks like it's sitting on something. I have my pineapple down here. And then I want to close the top with a smiley face. Now after that, I want to put my leaves that overlap. So I'm going to come out and come back down like a point triangle. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, but this time it's going to go behind. You'll notice it went behind that first flower that is called overlapping. I'm now going to do a second, a third one here in the back that overlaps, and they're kind of staggered, so you can see where I, it ended right there. It didn't end in the middle, it ended a little bit further up. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And then one right in the middle to finish off my pineapple. Now, I will also like my pineapple to be sitting on a table. So I'm going to pick my ruler and I'm going to lay it. What direction is this? That's right, horizontal. So I'm going to lay it horizontal. Now I want to draw across and stop when I get to my pineapple. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw, I'm going to slide my um, Sharpie up against my ruler and I'm going to stop when I hit that pineapple. Bloop! And I stopped. I'm now going to jump over the pineapple and I'm going to continue drawing. Now I can move it away and now my pineapple appears to be sitting on a table. Now I would like to divide my pineapple into sections. So I'm going to start in the corner. You can divide it however you like. I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to go all the way down to the opposite corner of my pineapple. That gives me two sections. I would like at least five of them. So I'm going to go in another direction. And I'm going to close that section. And then I'm going to go in a third direction. And I'm going to close that section. So I have now one, two, three, four sections. And then I can go and do one more section. Let's do it right here. That gives me five. Now, we need to fill our pineapple up with some of those patterns that we created. So we want to use our different line types to do that. So I'm going to start with, hmm, I kind of like this line is a railroad track line. It goes like this, up and down, up, down, up and down. I'm taking my time. I'm not racing. I'm making it nice and neat. I'm going from one side 
to the other. Notice how I went from one side all the way over. I didn't stop in the middle. All right. And because of the pattern, I want to keep that going. Now, if you feel more comfortable drawing this with a pencil first, then by all means, you may draw it with a pencil and then you can trace over it once you love what you have created. So I'm going to keep this pattern going. Now, after I have that pattern, I want to switch colors. If that was a cool, dark color, then I would like to have a warm, hot color in between. Now I'm going to do some diagonal lines. You can put whatever type of line pattern you want to in your section. So you do not and should not copy exactly what I am doing. This is just to show you and to give you inspiration. So I'm drawing my lines there. Okay. I can do another set here. Maybe go in the opposite direction. And maybe a set down here at the bottom. Again, going in the opposite direction. So that's one section that is complete. Now I want to go with a new set of colors into a new section. So perhaps in this section here, I do some curved lines, some curved lines. Okay. After my curved lines, perhaps I go in with some diagonal lines in between. And maybe perhaps there is a third color in this pattern. And maybe I do horizontal stripes going across. And so to keep my pattern going, I had horizontal and then diagonal and then horizontal. So in here, I'm going to have, you guessed it, diagonal with pink. Now, I want to keep that going. Let's go to another section. Ooh, what if I started with a spiral? Now, spirals are always slow and deliberate. Slow and deliberate. That means that you're taking your time to draw them correctly, not out of control spirals, but very controlled spirals. Some can be small. Some can be bigger. And I'm just filling that spot up with spirals. All right. From there, I can go in and maybe put some dash broken lines inside some of the negative spaces, some of those empty spaces, filling them in. And to add a little bit more contrast, maybe I put another dash line at the side of the darker color that can provide a little bit more contrast that word contrast means something very different from something else it makes it stand out because of it okay so there is a third design and i just want to keep going in that pattern i want to even do the leaves at the top i'll do one at the top perhaps we start with a zigzag line Again, going from one side to the other, I'm going to do it in drawing slowly and deliberately. I do not want to go too fast. I do not want to go too quickly. 
I want to be able to control my marks. Let's see, perhaps now in here I can do some wavy lines. Why not? Maybe I do a wavy line that breaks in between those green zigzags. Again, wavy is very slow and deliberate. You don't want to go fast. Fast lines look like scribble. You don't want to cross over your lines too much. That makes them look like scribble. Now, just for a little bit of fun, I think I'm going to add a few little dots. Just in between it with some blue, just to give it a little bit more to my pattern. So I'm just filling in my negative spaces. Negative space means empty space. My negative spaces with little dots just to add to that design. And a dot, again, can be a implied line if you put it in a straight row. So I want to see what you guys create and come up with for your patterns. You can combine as many lines as you like. You can work with maybe some of the thickness so some can be than others, but then maybe you can have a little skinny line, and then maybe a another skinny line, and then maybe a really thick line by turning your marker to the side. And so you can play with the different the different line widths and thicknesses. Okay. Now again, we want that contrast. So I'm going to go with a wavy line that touches the top and the bottom of each of my lines. Maybe it goes back this way. And maybe I don't put it in every space. Maybe it's only right there where the thick lines are. So now I have a pattern that is being created with only my lines. So I want you to keep filling yours up. You would have about six more spaces, five or six more spaces to create. Then in your background, you can continue creating lines. If I wanted to make some different lines that might go in different directions, Maybe I do some diagonal lines, maybe move my ruler down, make some diagonal stripes. Again, using my ruler, I'm holding it down very tight to the page, putting all of my pressure and my muscle on that ruler so it doesn't shift or move while I'm trying to use it. And then I can slide my pencil or my marker up against the ruler to make that straight edge. If you do not have a ruler, you can use a book, the sound of a book works, or you can use something straight, the side of a piece of paper that may be more like a piece of card stock or a piece of cardboard. Anything that's straight that will allow you to draw up against it to make a straight line is a good thing to use. So you want to fill your whole design up with lines. Don't leave any space empty. You have all of this room. You want to use it wisely. All right. Well, I am super excited to see what you guys create. I would like you to keep working on your design. And I look forward to seeing it in class. Happy creating, everybody.